What's up, y'all? This is Joe here at Mad Babes Saboon. I'm going to adjust this. I should have done this before I started it, but hey, here we are. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing on the Freemax Fire Luke Mesh Pro, the new tank they just came out with. Uh, I just pulled the plastic off. I haven't even opened it. I don't know why I did it before the video, but I did, so here we are. Um, but, so everybody knows the Fire Luke Mesh. Uh, great tank. Not the greatest capacity, but it's an excellent tank. Uh, they decided to take their Fire Loop Pro, which came before the mesh, had non-mesh coils, and they said, you know what, we're going to produce it, but we are going to make it bigger, give it capacity, and a lot bigger coils. So there's a lot of cool features with this. Uh, we're going to be seeing it for the first time here. I'm just take the sleeve off. Ah. Oh, well, yeah, book. It's a little manual right there telling you about the coils and the capacity. So you can see that you have an extra glass, which this bubble is bigger than this bubble. This is the slim one. This is the not so slim one. You have an extra coal, and then you have the one inside the tank. Now, the extra one, if I'm not mistaken, yep, is the single barrel. So this is like the Fire Luke mesh, the original coil. Uh, this one's good 40 to 70. I'd say like 55, 60 is like an excellent range for this thing. It's fantastic. It gives great flavor. Uh, but the real coolness is inside of here. So, what you have is a really nice uh, resin build, a ton of airflow, literal ton. Let me get it open for you. I mean, that's there's a lot of airflow to be had in that. Uh, and another cool feature that they use is they have a little stop pin that prevents you from pushing the airflow too far. Uh, it is top fill, although there's something I've noticed with customers other tank, when you first get them, <clears throat> This part is seized together. So technically, this should unscrew. Ow. Ow, ow. I'm an idiot, it doesn't unscrew, it slides open. There's, there's a good learning point right there. Every fire Luke has been an unscrew until this one. And that's the fun of doing an unboxing video. When you don't play with them, you get to look like an idiot on a video because you're like, it did unscrew, and then it doesn't. So this is a push to open. Hey, convenient. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a small gap. Uh, if you're using a squeeze, like a large 100 mil squeeze bottle, it actually might be difficult to get that in there. I don't know if I'm a, a huge, a terribly huge fan of that. But uh, what I am a huge fan of, besides the bubble glass, is this coil. Dual mesh. Now there's also a triple mesh. They don't give it with you, but you can purchase it separately. There is a triple mesh coil. Now a couple cool things to be noted with this is they have one full cotton window, then one half full. So you can really get the saturation you need if you're gonna be like plugging through, you're gonna be hitting it back to back to back to back, which everybody does with mesh. Uh, it's gonna be able to saturate quickly, which is pretty neat. Uh, I like that. Um, so it's a really unique setup. Uh, it's. I mean, they're huge coils. It's very well done. There we go. Look at this monster. This thing's huge. Uh, as you can see, a lot of it is just expansion space, but that's cool because it's going to let your vapor cool a little bit before uh, you end up vaping. So it's going to be a massive amount of cloud, a massive amount of flavor, but not a super hot hit, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, it's got a ton of capacity, if I'm not mistaken. It should be with the big glass, like right at seven. Let's do a little. Let's do a little light reading. There we go. Um, hey, what do you know? They don't even tell you the capacity. It could be on the back side. <clears throat> there we go. Six mil capacity, but optional five or four mil with five or four mil with the uh, slimmer glass. So inside the box, you have a spare glass. The bulb is larger than the one that it comes with. They let you decide which one you want to use. Uh, as you can tell clearly by the difference, much larger, much thinner. Uh, if you're somebody who doesn't like the glass protruding, I could see why you wouldn't want to use it. But that six mil capacity on the mesh coil is necessary. You need it. They have a ton of different colors, a ton. We just ordered the resins for the first, so if you make it in here, 
uh, within like the next week, week and a half, you're probably only gonna see the resin colors. There's like, I we already sold a green one, but there's orange, pink, purple, black, blue. Uh, they have, they're doing the same thing. They have the carbon fiber colors. They have the, uh, the, the, the steel where it's kind of like a, I don't know the proper term for it. It looks like it's serrated, uh, would, I guess would be the best bet. But uh, yeah, Fire Luke Mesh Pro, excellent flavor, great capacity, well-known company, uh, producing a, a heck of a product. There's definitely something to look into. Uh, mesh is all the craze now. The coils generally last longer. Uh, they produce insane flavor. And uh, really all in all, it's just a, it's a well-built tank. Uh, and of course, don't forget, it is a push open, not a screw open. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, I always love the snarky comments we get from people, so keep them coming. Uh, if you have any comments, you know what to do. You know where we are. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day.